Good afternoon and welcome to the Wealthy Lala Show with myself, Lori Larson. Oh, I am feeling so incredibly grateful today. I know today's not Thankful Thursday. It's Wisdom Wednesday and I'm still feeling grateful. Imagine that. I love how the universe takes these little detours for me and what I think I'm going to be doing either for a day or for a show and something gets created and triggered or a conversation and boom, off we go down a whole different way. And um, anyway, so what I wanted to talk about today was um, I started doing, and I know I talked about this on previous shows, but I started doing these meditations with Dr. Joe Dispenza last summer. And I am just so incredibly grateful for what that choice has created in my life. And so, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> so I have a couple of, couple of girlfriends that I've been chatting with. And of course, they've both, um, you know, jumped a bit onto the meditation thing and have had some really cool results. And it's really interesting because then our conversations as of late have been about how you know, one finds journaling with a beautiful um, music on in the background. I'm sure you guys have heard of Dan Gibson's and his Solitudes music. Oh, I've had some of his CDs for years. And, you know, the waterfalls and the birds and all that stuff. So having that sort of thing. Um, and then on Monday's show, like just a couple shows ago, so that would have been show 121, I talked about how I used EFT to change some jaw, face, nerve pain that I was experiencing since last summer also, and how much I was able to change it while I was on my trip to Mexico. And, um, you know, as, as I'm just sort of chatting back and forth on Snapchat with a girlfriend, and, oh, because at, at the same time, because I just do this, I just like squirrel all over the place. Like I think if I had to sit with just one modality or just one thing, that would be like putting me in a chair and, you know, just putting me to sleep. Like I, life is just has so many different flavors. And, you know, that's even how I like to eat, you know, it's like Vietnamese one day, Asian something the next day, Thai, then, you know, maybe a really good slice of greasy pizza. And then, a good hamburger and oh I love a yummy steak with some fried mushrooms and baked potatoes with it and you know life is just for me is savored in so many different ways and I and I realized like in my 17 18 years of doing all these different modalities one of the things that I didn't realize that I actually struggled with along the ways was I thought I had to know one do it best and share it and I discovered that that's just not Lori that's not who this Lori is in this lifetime. She has come to look at all this juiciness and gather it like a squirrel gathering nuts. So I'm glad. <laughs> That's just so funny. I am like a squirrel and I do gather nuts and I am a bit nutty. <laughs> Depending on who you talk to, that scale could bigger, be big or small. <laughs> oh, so, so anyways, um, when we were chatting um, this morning with regards to, um, you know, looking at this, it just right away, my head, like I just do it without even knowing that I do it. I'm in a conversation with someone and as soon as I pick up on an energy of something like, oh, there's something there, there's something there. I just start, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? And it's like, I wonder what that is. I wonder what that is. I wonder what that question I could ask here. I wonder. And what I noticed, and I got this huge aha with, is that all these different things bring us to ourselves. They bring us to the wisdom, the intuition, the reservoir of knowing that we all have within ourselves. And I look on my desk, which is very, very dirty, I'm going to tell you. Well, I'm not going to say dirty. It's messy. It's 
cluttered. <laughs> I'm, um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten different like oracle uh, kinds of cards and um, or mantra decks or whatever you want to call them. And I find that I will, you know, pick a card. So like if I reach this one deck and I say, okay, well, what message would you like for me today? Um, and then I turn it over, you know, one says, what's the hurry? And I'm like, oh, what's it? What is the hurry? You know, and then I can find in my world, like, where am I hurrying too much? Where am I rushing too much? Where do I think I have to have things all done yesterday? And where do I not allow myself to be in the present moment? And, you know, it's funny, too. I've been doing this. Uh, uh, well, Mel Robbins, if you find her, she wrote the book, The Five Second Rule. I can actually take that in the post on Podbean. And if you guys are interested in checking it out on Amazon. Um, but she's been doing this 35-day mindset reset. And when I signed up for it, I also got this 50-day challenge thing. It's a daily challenge. And uh, it's really kind of, yeah, it's a 50-day confidence challenge. That's what it is. So by pushing yourself out of your comfort zone a little each day, you will see surprising results that allow you to gain confidence in ways you wouldn't expect. Take the daily challenges and see for yourself. So there you go, people. If I remember, I'll even tag um, her mindset reset in there. Um, so anyways, what I noticed, oh, so with regards to this challenge, you're not going to believe which the first thing, day one, take a cold shower. Now, personally, people, what a way to get someone to not continue with the other 49, don't you think? Like, seriously, I've been looking at, I've been talking about this now for probably about two weeks. Although I was in Mexico, probably would have been the best place to have a cold shower, uh, did not think of it while I was there. I wonder why. I probably conveniently forgot. Anyway, so I've been looking at it. And what I actually did then was I went on YouTube. And how the heck, I don't even know how I found it. But you know, actually, on a side note with that, I may say I don't know how I found it. But the universe knew my, knows my question. It's like, how can I make a freaking cold shower ease? That's my question, people. So it automatically goes out to the universe. The universe is on it. So however I found this video on YouTube, I'm going to say that the universe totally had my back with it. So it's called, oh, you know, it, and it, it does, the title doesn't even resonate with what you think. Well, it does, but it doesn't. But it doesn't resonate with what you think is going to be in the video. So it's by this guy. It's called How to Never Get Sick Again, this Evan Carmack Michael. He has interviewed this Wim, W-I-M, Hoff, H-O-F. And then in, in um, what do you call them, hyphens? It's called Iceman. He's called the Iceman. So he's got this Iceman method. So I'm like, well, that's really interesting. But I was actually drawn to the how to never get sick again. So I click on the video. Well, no kidding. You guys, you guys aren't going to believe this because sometimes I even still am in awe of this amazing universe and how when you ask so quickly you receive. Um, the whole video is about this whim and how he um, trained himself and found the value in actually being in cold circumstances. So he's actually, was it Kilimanjaro? I can't remember. What mountain? He, he hiked a mountain wearing shorts. Shorts and like in the wind, you know, it's snowy up there. So he's got shorts on, he's got hiking boots, and that's pretty much it. And a little knapsack thing. And um, so he actually has this breathing technique. He actually teaches you how to get used to having a cold shower. Like, I kid you not, people. This is how the universe has our back. And, you know, like it would have been interesting uh, for, to know from the time I asked the question to the time I found this video. Now, I found both of these things prior to going to Mexico. So I'm going to guess it was less than a week that I asked the question about a cold shower and I came across this video. Like, really? How does it get any better? And, <clears throat> and you know... I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I live on the on a farm 
kind of in the middle of where people would think it is nowhere. Now, I could be way more in a place like nowhere, but I'm a good hour away from the largest city. I'm, say, 15 minutes away from the closest town. They're even so small, some of them, that you don't even really call them. They're more of a hamlet. And um, they don't even count as a town. <laughs> so, And the universe finds me even here. So if you ever find that there's any place in your world where you feel alone and the universe doesn't have your back or the God or source or whatever you want, the divine, whatever you want to call that beauty, if you ever think that it's not accessible to you, I can be proof that that's actually not true. Um, the amount of classes, courses, people that I have met uh, in and I've been living on this farm for 20 years now so if the universe can find me here it can find you wherever you are so how does it get any better so <clears throat> anyways going back to when I was having this it was a snapchat conversation with this girlfriend today um, you know I really got in question about you know what is all of this and I never received it with such clarity as I did today. You know, and I love when you get those ahas that just sort of come together and you get it when you get it, how you get it. And that all of these ways, whether it's through emotional freedom technique, whether it's through meditation, whether it's through pulling these beautiful oracle cards and mantra decks that I have, whether it's finding a quote on... Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, or whether it's journaling, like all of these are, you know, and even like with this fella, this Wim Hof, do you know what's really fascinating him, about him is that he actually was married and has four children and his wife committed suicide. And so during the, the time, the post, you know, that traumatic event in his family, he did what he could do with his kids, took care of his kids, and then he found this breathing and he found challenging his body this way. Now, you guys got, you got to really watch the video because he, you know, I, I don't know word for word verbatim what exactly he said, but I, I get more the energy of what he said. But choosing what he chose helped him move through and get past and get over and heal from his wife's suicide. And you look at this man, I think he's in his 60s, maybe his early 70s, and, and what he does for himself, the inner strength that he has in his world. And this is how he cho chose to find it, to receive it. And so... Um, you know, because what I was going to say is that when I was thinking about my show from Monday, the one where I did the EFT tapping and how I got amazing results with the jaw nerve pain, face pain, um, is that there's a presence from me choosing the meditation. There's a confidence in my world from me choosing the meditation. There's a value in myself that I have from me choosing the meditation. Um, that when I chose to use the EFT this time, the tapping, allowed me to be so present with it, to receive the, um, they have a scale. It's, it's really cool. It's a good idea to do it. Because when you start tapping, they'll say, you know, what, what is it at? A zero, zero to 10. You know, where are you sitting? And, you know, so for me, at the, when I was on the trip, the jaw pain was at an eight. And, um, and then as I tapped, I got to actually perceive how it was changing and it was getting lower. And so I went down to a six, say, and then I went down to a four and then I got it down to a three and then a two and I got it down to a zero and I do get, you know, and so with having that scale and with me choosing to be aware of myself with everything that I've chosen that's given me this inner access to me and this inner access of what's true for me allowed me to receive 
the EFT so much greater. And then I was able to see what was actually working for me. And, I, and, and it's really kind of cool too, because with EFT, what I notice is you can start with, you know, even though I have this jaw pain and you're tapping, and then all of a sudden you get this thought of something that triggered you, like triggered me. So it was something that made me really angry. And so then I kind of switched because I was aware that working on the anger was going to create more than just the general jaw pain. So then I worked on the anger and as I'm tapping, <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> as I'm tapping through the jaw pain or through the anger then it became this immense sadness like this just sort of desperate sadness and then as I tap tapped on that my body cried and then as I kept ta tapping allowing my body to release that all of a sudden I re realized I got this awareness that the person that I was really upset with um, is beyond being able to choose something different, but from a space that I could so receive it. Like, you know, instead of someone saying, well, you should just get over it, Lori, you know, they're doing the best they can. Um, I was actually able to receive what was really true for me. So first that was anger. And then there was this immense sadness. And then when I sat in that sadness for me and I acknowledged what was really true for me, then it was like, what, as that came up and out of my body, then it's like, I just naturally fall into this place of wisdom. And I guess you could call it, you know, compassion or understanding to where the other person is functioning from. And it still doesn't mean that you maybe choose to be around that person all the time or, whatever but there's all of a sudden there's no longer any more charge in in my world and and since i had those awarenesses on the trip um on the mexico trip um the ease in my world with that has been incredible and it's not changed so the understanding is still there the space is still there so I'm really, truly grateful. So, you know, play with this amazing, beautiful universe and see, like, how do you desire? What's fun for you? What would your body like? What would you like? And what's fun and playful for you to find and access that beautiful wisdom that's within you? So, um, and, you know, when I think of someone like my husband, he just loves to be outside. And when he's outside, that's like his, you know, sticking his fingers in a socket. It's like recharges him. So oh, I'm so grateful for you guys. And thank you so much again for listening. Have an amazing, amazing day. And uh, yeah, I'll put a couple of links up in the Podbean site uh, show. Soon I'm going to be setting up a blog on my website and you'll be able to access all the links and everything there too. So how does it get any better? You guys have a wonderful day. So grateful for you.